Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Defense Forces, the Prime Cabinet Secretary, my Cabinet colleagues and the Principal Secretaries and all the senior people here today, good morning. Your Excellency, I don't have a written speech because this contract is a serious thing. And uh, you need to think very through what you have signed. And uh, Your Excellency, on behalf of this team and those who work under you, I want to thank you for the privilege to serve. Among 50 million Kenyans, you chose a few of us, very few in terms of percentage, to assist you in the management of the affairs of this country. Your Excellency, you have a very high expectation of all of us, just like the people of Kenya have. The President of the Republic of Kenya seated here today signed a five-year contract with the people of Kenya, subject to renewal on performance and subject to termination on non-performance. As a Deputy President and Principal Assistant, I can tell you today, the President has no intention whatsoever to have his contract terminated by the people of Kenya. His very intention is to have it renewed, and therefore those working under him must perform and perform efficiently. So on a day like this, what I have seen this morning, I'm a bit uh, worried. The day you are signing performance contracts is a very important day because it marks the beginning of performance. Mimi najua ni mzea hii boma hapa ya nyumba kubi. Hapa kwa hii kulu. Taka ni mumbia siri kidogo tu. Especially those of us who came with the president from the political space and who are his friends and we assisted him to become president. Once he gives us a job, that is the termination of that friendship. The friendship with the president will be based on nothing but performance. Performance. And me, I know. Mimi masomo yangu yuko chini kidogo lakini I know a few things. Mimi, I know. My relationship with the president is not based on my 20-year friendship with him, and I assisted him in the campaigning. It is based on performance. And I know if I don't perform, that relationship will be strained. I want to urge you today when he's here, please perform. Perform. Because the president has a performance contract with the people of Kenya, and it is your performance that will assist him to fulfill that contract. So let us all do what we have to do, and let us be efficient. When I joined the Kenya School of Administration, in those years we were taught that management is management by crisis, known as firefighting. That is what most of us have been doing. You wait until the last minute, there's a deadline, is when you are running around. Your Excellency, before I call you, I just wanted to comment about one matter. Last week, you took a decision to limit foreign chips by all this still here to a certain number in a year. Which is very unfortunate. That should not have been the case. People should have regulated themselves to travel when it's necessary. But because of the opulence that all ministers and PSAs were out of the country most of the time, the President had to put a stop and say you can only do so much. And sometimes I wonder, why do you have to honor every invitation that you have been given to every country? Your Excellency, at times we have tried to hold cabinet committees, we can't. Five, six, seven, eight ministers are out of the country. Some change clothes at the airport from one country to another. That is the truth. Why can't you regulate yourself? If the president was to travel and honor every invitation, he would be out of this country the whole year. 
you just have to decide what is useful and other things you can leave to our passengers out of the country. Please let the president not limit your travel. Just be responsible. You have a work to do and the work is here in Kenya. Again, Your Excellency, we have done so much as an administration, but the information is not out there. Our ministers are quiet. They are called for TV interviews, they don't show up to say what they have done. And then the media have a few days because nobody talks for government. I would rather we spend more time explaining to the people of Kenya what we have done in our respective dockets as opposed to travel. And if we have to travel, let's travel up country to where our Nanji are and explain what we are doing. I don't think the president will cap your travel out of Nairobi. I don't think he will. I don't think he will. So mimi ni memuibia siri tu kidogo kama mzee nyumba 10 hapa. Niona watu wale wamechelewa nikaona rais una nini anamjua? Nikaona uso yake nikajua hapa kimehumana. Sababu leo ni siku ya performance contract. Ile siku muhimu sana ya kuja kuweka. Na wewe umefika pale rais anakaa. Tayari amekaa na dia rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Wewe umechelewa ukiwa kuona nani? Who else have you gone to see? These are things myself I don't understand. As I said, you know, mimi sielewi. Mimi mambo ingine sielewi. So, mimi boss na chunga kazi yangu. <laughs> Unajua rais tangu uniteue. I be late in your meeting one day only. Na rais wewe dio ulinichanganya siku hiyo. <laughs> Because ulisema utatoka hapa saa moja unusu tukutane airport saa mbili, ukatoka saa kumi na mbili unusu. Sasa by the time nimefika nikakuta umeketi. And I was embarrassed because where else was I when my boss is seated waiting? Where else would I be? How do you explain where uko wapi? Rais ameka, you work for him, he has arrived before you. I don't understand. I don't know how you plan, but hata uh, kama iko traffic jam, e traffic jam haijakuja Kenya leo inajulikana tangu zamani. Mimi nilifika hapa saa moja unusu. PM alifika hapa saa moja unusu na mkutano ulikuwa saa tatu. Not because we have no work to do. Si hakuna haja kuamka hii masaa na hii baridi tungelala. Lakini tunakuja kwa rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya. Who has given us a job? Who is very busy? We utachelewa ukiwa wapi? So those are things as you sign these contracts you need to think about. But I want to assure you from what nimesikia asubuhi from today tufanye kazi. Marafiki wa rais wa zamani tufanye kazi. Kipimo ni kazi peke yake. Mimi nimesikia na mimi nakubaliana na rais kazi. Let us work. Let us do what we need to do to help the president. And he has set the peace. Let us follow the leader. Because he is the leader. If his pace is to keep time, let's keep time. If his pace is to work hard, is to work hard. If his pace is to go up country and explain to the people, let us go and explain to the people. Mimi nimesema yangu nitamtafuta individually bali niona iko shida nimueleze. With those few remarks I request you to be upstanding and help me usher in the President of the Republic of Kenya, Mr.